Greetings and welcome to Oil for the Journey. My name is Sherry and I am your journey reader for today. We follow the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth Bible Reading Plan. Today I will be coming to you from the book of Isaiah chapters 37 through 39. So please follow along as we dive into the book of Isaiah today. And it came to pass when King Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of Jehovah. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe and the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said unto him, Thus said Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of contumely. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be Jehovah thy God will hear the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria his master hath sent to defy the living God, and will rebuke the words which Jehovah thy God hath heard. Therefore lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto him, Thus shall ye say to your master, Thus saith Jehovah, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will put a spirit in him, and he shall hear tidings, and shall return unto his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword of his own land. So Rabshakeh returned, and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lash, Lashish, and he heard say concerning Tirica, king of Ethiopia, he is come out to fight against thee. And when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou, thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands, by destroying them utterly. And shalt thou be delivered? Have the gods of all the nations delivered them, which my fathers have destroyed, Gozan, and Haran, and Rezif, and the children of Eden, that were in Telassar? Where is the king of Hamath, and the king of Arpad? and the king of the city Serphavim, or Hena, or Iva. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up unto the house of Jehovah and spread it before Jehovah. And Hezekiah prayed unto Jehovah, saying, O Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel, that sittest above the cherubim, Thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thine ear, O Jehovah, and hear, open thine eyes, O Jehovah, and see. And hear all the words of Sennacherib, who have sent, who have sent to defy the living God. Of a truth, Jehovah, the kings of Assyria, have laid waste all the countries and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they have destroyed them. Now, therefore, O Jehovah, our God, save us from his hand, that the that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art Jehovah, even thou only. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus said Jehovah, the God of Israel, Whereas thou hast prayed to me against Sennacherib, 
king of Assyria. This is the word which Jehovah has spoken concerning him. The virgin daughter of Zion hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom hast thou defied and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high? Even against the Holy One of Israel. By thy servants hast thou defied the Lord and hast said, With the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains to the innermost parts of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into its farthest height, the forest of its fruitful field. I have digged and drunk water, and with the sole of my feet I will dry up all the rivers of Egypt. Hast thou not heard how I have done it long ago, and formed it an, of ancient times? Now have I brought it to pass that it should be thine to lay waste fortified cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and the green herb of the grass on the housetops and as a field of grain before it is grown up. But I know thy sitting down, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy raging against me. Because of thy raging against me, and because thine arrogancy is come upon, come up into mine ears, therefore I will put my hook in thy nose, and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. And this shall be the sign unto thee, ye shall eat this year that which groweth of itself, and in the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and out of Mount Zion they shall they that shall escape. The zeal of Jehovah of hosts will perform this. Therefore thus said Jehovah concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there. Neither shall he come before, before it into, or with a shield nor cast up a mound against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return. And he shall not come into the city, said Jehovah, for I will defend this city to save for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And the angel of Jehovah went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians, a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when men arose early in the morning, behold, these were all dead bodies. And Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed, and went and returned, and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisrash, his god, and Adramelech, and Sharazer, his son smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Ararat, and Esar Hadan, his son, reigned in his stead. Chapter 38 In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came to him, and said unto him, Thus saith Jehovah, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto Jehovah and said, Remember now, O Jehovah, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of Jehovah to Isaiah, saying, 
Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus said Jehovah, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. And I will, I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. And this shall be the sign unto thee from Jehovah, that Jehovah will do this thing that he hath spoken. Behold, I will cause the shadow on the steps, which is gone down to the dial of, the, of Ahaz with the sun, to return backward ten steps. So the sun returned ten steps on the dial whereon it was gone down. The writing of Hezekiah king of David when he had been sick and was recovered of his sickness. I said in the noontide of my days I shall go into the gates of Sheol. I am deprived of the residue of my years. I said I shall not see Jehovah even Jehovah in the land of the living. I shall behold man no more with the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is removed and is carried away from me as a shepherd's tent. I have rolled up like a weaver my life. He will cut me off from the loom. From day even to night wilt thou make an end of me. I quieted myself until morning. As a lion, so he breaketh all my bones. From day even to night wilt thou make an end of me. Like a swallow or a crane, so I did chatter. I did moan as I dove. Mine eyes fell with looking upward. O Lord, I am oppressed. My Be thou my surety. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me, and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years because of the bitterness of my soul. O Lord, by these things men live. And holy therein is the life of my spirit. Wherefore recover thou me, and make me to live. Behold, it was for my peace that I had great bitterness. But thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back for sheol sheol cannot praise thee death cannot celebrate thee they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth the living the living he shall praise thee as i do this day the father to the children shall make known thy truth Jehovah is ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my songs with stringed instruments all the days of our lives in the house of Jehovah. Now Isaiah had said, Let them take a cake of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and he shall recover. Hezekiah also had said, What is the sign that I shall go up to the house of Jehovah? Isaiah chapter 39. At that time, Merodach Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious oil, and all the house of his armor, and all that was found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion, that Hezekiah showed them not. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto king Hezekiah, and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They came, they are they are come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon. Then said he, What have they seen in thy house? And Hezekiah answered, All that is in my house have they seen. 
There is nothing among my house, nothing among treasures that I have not showed them. Then he said to Isaiah, then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, hear the word of Jehovah of hosts. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in thy house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, said Jehovah, and of thy sons that shall issue from thee, whom thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah unto Isaiah, Good is the word of Jehovah which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. I pray that the Lord will add a blessing to the reading of this word and that it carries you throughout the rest of the day and the week and days moving forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.